Hey there! Today I'm going to show you how to create something like this, an overlay like this, for your Nook Mile Island counters. Um, anytime you travel to an island doing villager hunt bingo and you see people have these cute little Nook Mile ticket images on their screen um, and they update with the amount of islands that you visit, I will show you two different ways to do that. One of them is super easy, one of them is a little more complicated but provides for a little bit more customization. easiest way to go about doing this the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open a notepad um, so you'll grab a little new notepad file um, and let's just say this is our 120th island I made the font super big so that you can so that you can see it from OBS so like for example I would have my screen maybe like this in OBS so that I can come over here and easily edit it uh, while I'm in the middle of streaming so what you would want to do is you would create this um, this little notepad right here will say Island 120 is the one that we've been on. And then you would want to save it, something you remember. Um, so I saved mine as NMT counter. Um, so the next thing you would do is you would go to whatever scene that you are streaming from, um, your, um, so like perhaps your switch screen or something along those lines, your switch scene. Um, you would add a new text source here. Um, and we can just call it NMT counter. And then you would click read from file and we would find what we just saved. So I called mine NMT counter, open, and you can see it's got the 120 here, and here it is as well on this side. So you would say, okay, and then you can overlay that anywhere you want to. <laughs> you can overlay that anywhere you want to, change the, change the colors and change the fonts and all of that good stuff. Um, but that is where that would exist. All you would need to do is come over here to your text file during stream, change it to whatever you wanna change it to, anywhere you want to go control s saves it and so it updates from then on out you can go as many of course it's just a text file so you can put anything there so this is the more complicated way that you would want to set up the nook mile ticket counter but it is kind of the better way when you're looking at um when you're when if, if editing the text file is getting annoying for you like it was for me um because you're having to look at chat you're having to deal with all your obs stuff in the stream and you're having to actually play the game it's kind of difficult to go and update a text file um and save it every single time you change an island when you're doing uh villager hunts so the other way that you can do it and this is the way that you can get your mods to track um, the islands for you is by creating an element in um, or creating an overlay in stream elements um, you would create a chat command that goes along with the overlay the first thing you would probably want to do is to go to on this left hand side here your chat commands um, and you would want to create a custom command um, i'm going to just cut and paste what i did for my last one which is update nmts to and then the count dollar sign i'll paste all of this um, in the description as well so that you can see it so i'm just going to copy from this um, this is gonna work with our with our overlay. So um, you're gonna to wanna to create, so we'll click add new command, which my video is covering, but you can see where add new command is. Um, and I'm gonna hide this as well so you can see what I'm doing. Um, and so maybe let's just call it islands or island. We'll do island for the command name. And then I'm gonna paste that little updated. So we visited, we can say we've visited count island. So this is setting up that counter the island counter here count island and then we've visited count island islands so this is going to be the the variable that you want dollar sign bracket count island close bracket it's those little squiggly brackets i don't know what they're called squiggly brackets so you say activate command um well before you do that you're going to want to advanced settings um or no maybe it's just regular settings user level moderator you might want to also add um or you might want to do VIP so that VIPs and moderators can do it up to you. But I only have mods, I only have mods that are capable of doing it. So then you're going to say activate command just so that the rest of chat can't, <laughs> can't give you, um, can't update your counter. The next step would be to actually create the overlay. So what you're going to want to do next is go to the overlays or you're going to go to my overlays. And there is a button behind my head that says new overlay. <laughs> you're going to click on that. Um, I like to change my resolution to be exactly um, exactly what I want it to be in OBS. So I'm going to do 500 by 500. So a square, a little square. And you can see it shrinks the size down a good bit for you. I'm going to call this island counter. And the first thing you're going to do is add a widget here. And you're going to go to, I type in, honestly, super easy to do this. It's a label other bot counter. And so this is going to pull from the chat bot um, that we just set up. So it says current wins. Um, so I'm changing this to just have the number alone, the number by itself. It's not gonna say like amount of islands though you could do that if you want. And I'm gonna put island here, 
because that would be our bot. And since it's already changed to a zero, then we know that the, the bot counter is working um, because we have the command already set up um, that we created earlier. The next thing that we're gonna wanna do is, um, is customize it a little bit. Um, I usually pick just whatever my theme font is, which my theme font is Chewy. So there it is, you can see it changed. Um, and my Nook Mile ticket image has kind of a white background. So I'm gonna change this to be black. One, two, three, four, five, six. Change that to be black. Oh, that's secondary text. Don't mind me. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna change the font size to be about the width of this. I don't know, I'm just guessing 200 maybe. Again, secondary text, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that 200 is probably the right size. Um, if it gets up into the three digits, then it's probably gonna need this whole, this whole space. Um, so that would be setting this up um, this way. So the next thing that we would wanna do is copy the overlay URL and move it into OBS. So let's move over to OBS and we'll finish it up. Okay, so we're in OBS and we've got a Nook Mile image, a Nook Mile ticket image right there to use. Um, so the next thing that we would do is we would add a new browser source um, from the URL that we copied. So we'll call this islands and we'll copy and paste the new browser source that we have just created. And again, I made mine 500 by 500 so that it's um, just like super easy no questions, everything's fine. <laughs> Super easy to set up. What would be also important, and I'm seeing this now, is to save, <laughs> save your overlay and stream elements. There it is. <laughs> save your overlay and stream elements um, so that it appears, it actually does appear. So you can see now it has a 100, or sorry, it has a zero here. Um, and if you wanna trim this up a little bit, you hold Alt and drag, trim it up just a smidge. <clears throat> And now it's resting on top of our um, it's resting on top of our of our of our ticket here. So I did have an issue with my with my font coming through and not coming through, and so you might have to mess around with that a little bit. Then the next the most important part is um, is what comes next, which is the um, the actual chat command. So the chat command that I chose was the word island. Um, so in that case, all I have to do is exclamation point island. Ooh, screaming! Exclamation point island to be able to add one to this Nook Mile ticket counter. So you'll see at island added one, we visited one islands, <laughs> great grammar. Um, and so you would do that over and over just to add one. But if you're like, well, we, we're starting on ticket 50, then you would do edit counter island 50. And it would automatically update from two to 50 from there. Um, so those commands, you can do them yourself or you can have your mods do them. Um, and that is just an easier way to where you as the streamer do not have to um, do not have to update your island counters on your own. That is how you can get your mods to do it. It's been super easy. Again, the only the only like flaky thing about it is that sometimes the font is weird. Um, but you can always go in and try and refresh. <laughs> do all the things there we go so refreshing the cache now the font is correct um easy peasy lemon squeezy if you have any questions at all let me know but yeah anytime you want to count something on screen and you want to use any of these methods then they are available to you